this cycling these animations i love them so much so if you sit here long enough or maybe you come in and out if you go in and out a few times um there's a dinosaur that just like wanders oh it's a dolphin there's a dolphin it's the beautiful spiegel we see or mirror lake um I think there's also a dinosaur that just wanders in sometimes. So if we ever had to come back here, I'm just going to do it one more time. See if anything triggers anything particularly funny. Yep, there it is. Hey there. Hey, bro. Oh, it's the Loch Ness Monster, of course. It must be your imagination. What would Nessie be doing in this fantasy adventure? Shades of Conquest of the Longbow. Hey, Nessie. Just hanging out. Nessie just wandered in. And hang out. I, that's amazing. That is what I love about these games. That is the silliest thing. Now I'm going to go over here because I love this. I love this. This is one of my favorite things in the game. The roar of the waterfall fills your ears and the cold spray dampens your face as you approach. River plunges for more than 100 feet. That doesn't look like 100 feet. Down the face of the cliff, you see a slick vertical cliff walls. A doorway has been built into the side of the cliff. Doors built into the face of the mountainside. You suspect the person who lives behind it treasures privacy. It's a large door. It must be open. Must open pretty wide. All right. Well, first, let's have a drink. Or that. Fill an empty flask with crystal clear water from the waterfall. We needed flying water for something, or we will at some point. Water seems to be trying to fly as it leaps from the mountain above. I don't remember what this is for. I know that it's useful at some point. Um, water flask. Okay. Um, I'm just going to save just in case this is the hermit let me see if I can climb this you look for a good place to climb boop, boop. oh yeah all that climbing practice that was almost too easy just like climbing a ladder now if I were a mage and I cast a reveal spell there is a ladder here <laughs> there's a magical ladder which is pretty funny um now I'm going to get out of the way and knock on the door because voice from inside said, just a minute, just a minute, please move away from the door. So if you don't, the door knocks you off the cliff. There he is. Hey. Oh, hello. Go on in. Hello. How are you? Have we met before? I'm Henry the Armit. That's me. My father was an Armit and my mother was an Armit, so I come by the job rightly. Don't have too many visitors. Armits don't, you know. Part of the job description. I like to see a new face, though. Good to hear another speaking besides myself. Sus, what can I do for you? He has an accent of some kind that's written into his text, in his, his dialogue, but I don't, I don't get it. So I'm just gonna, whatever. Hermit, ask about name. I'm Henry. Henry the Eighth, I is. My, uh, my father was an Henry, and his 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 father was an Henry, and every one of them was an hermit. Hermit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like the hermit voice. An hermit is one what lives alone, far away from them, what talks too much and asks too many questions. Hermits are shy, quiet types, what don't say much. My brother, Harry, hardly says a word in a year. My sister, Orton, hadn't, hadn't speak since she was six. I never talks at all. Yes, we hermits knows how to keep the mouth shut. It's about the cave. Well, it's dark and damp, and the water's roar, so there's not a moment's quiet. The ceiling drips, and the walls are slimy, and it's always cold. But, oh well, I says, it's home. That's very sweet, Henry. My family lives pretty far apart from each other. We're all hermits, you know? Okay. Falls. This here is what's called the Flying Falls. I've done some Flying Falls around here myself. The porch gets slippery sometimes. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Ladder. I know some magic. Erasmus the wizard taught me some spells. He's what's put the spell on me ladder so the brigands don't get up. Then what climbs the rocks gets a door opening in their nose. So, like I said, the um, there's a ladder there. That's about Erasmus. He's my friend in Ian Fenris. Oh, my goodness. Powerful wizard he is. I, <laughs> I hear his house is something to see up north. I don't make it out much and he's pretty busy, so I don't see him often. But when we do get together, you can sure we'll have fun. He loves to play games, he do. Games. Erasmus' favorite game is the Mage's Maze. Have to be a magic user to play it, though. Erasmus is awful good at it. I really hope that we can play Mage's Maze, because it is awesome. Spells. 
Spells, what I know is pretty simple, maybe, but I like them. I can make me ladder show up and my door close and even get rid of pests using the trigger spell, you see? Trigger? It's a spell what sets off other spells. Like, when you want to see the ladder, you cast a trigger and there you have it, large as life. Of course, you gotta spell an invisible ladder to make it visible first, but it has its uses. Think I have a scroll with the spell, if you know what some magic that is. I, I do. Scroll. If you be wanting to learn the spell, I'd be pleased to share it to you. Just getting molding in me out in place. You want it? Yes. Do you want it? Yes. Let's see. How does Erasmus do it? Oh, yes. He summons it with a trigger. Here goes. Oh, my God. That was so loud. There you have it. Cool. Uh, that's it. Scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a trigger spell. And this unlocked! Wonderful. Possess the trigger spell. Your expertise is ten. You will use three magic points each time you cast the spell. How many magic points do I have? Twelve. Okay, so... I'll use it for something. Can I sit down? Yeah. Now we can... We already chatted about everything, but... No, we didn't. Wait. Uh, brigands. Nasty sorts, they is. I see them sneaking around the woods all the time. Other than... Wow. I'm sorry. Other than the warlock, I has nothing to do with him. Warlock? He's not so bad. Got a good sense of humor, he has. Get the giggles just thinking of him. <laughs> He's come by times to chat. Borrowed the mirror when I borrowed... What I borrowed from Erasmus, he did. Mirror. A magic mirror of reflection, it was. If you use it... When a nasty spell was cast at you, it will sent back to the one who cast it. Done unto others, I said. <laughs> okay, well that's useful. That's a good thing to know. I think... That's everything here. The Hermit has all the amenities, including running water. I didn't look at his room. Single candle sits on the table. Every Hermit ought to have a few urns around, says I. Okay. It's the ancient Egyptian pot from the tomb of Ananha. That's a joke of some kind. Graham, grain to keep the hermit's ale. Henry always keeps a good supply of coal. Fires. Fire. Yeah. There's a cot. There's a fire. The cold is, cave is cold and clammy. It smells like mildew and wet dog hair in here. The walls are covered in phosphorescent fungus. The fungus glows eerily in the cave's dim light. Interesting. Well, thank you, Henry. It was nice to talk to you. You have to get up first. Okay. Okay, game. I realize that. If you ever be needing a place to stay the night near in the area, I could be willing to put you up for the night for some rations and a couple of games of cribbage. That could come in handy. <laughs> Alright. Jesus. That was loud. Okay, let me just... That was easy. That's climbing up a ladder. Excellent. Um... So... That's... That's Henry. Henry the Hermit. Come on, let me, let me leave. Let me leave, please. There we go. Uh, so that's Henry the Hermit. He just lives there. That's three down, one right, I believe. And there's a goblin following me. Okay, this guy's still not here. Um, there's a person that stands here that I really would like to meet at some point. Um, that would be useful. Uh, the struggle of a gamer. You know. Uh, you didn't catch this last time, but I'm playing in a window. I'm just gonna walk around. I don't quite know where I am, but... That's a brigand. I don't want to fight anybody right now. Ooh, ooh, this is interesting. Wait, what are you? A beautiful white stag is foraging for food. Let me approach it. You seem to have startled the white stag. Gallop! Wait, let's follow it! I'm playing in a window, and if I move to the edge, the mouse leaves the window, and I can't, um, so I can't click on the edges of the screen. We startled the stag again. We're following the stag. We're following the stag. That's what we're doing here. Ooh, very nice. You follow the stag into this forest corner. You feel as though the eyes of the forest are watching you. You watch the stag, fascinated by his grace and beauty. There's something special about this place. Large gnarled oak seems to draw your attention. Majestic mountains rising in the north, silhouetted across the crystal blue sky. Rocks to the north look steep. There's a rock wall northeast of the large oak tree. Turned into, um, Deckard Cain. Rocks to the north look steep. Okay, I read that already. 
In decay, this ancient tree lies as a bleak reminder that you really shouldn't have missed that last dentist appointment. Majestic white stag is an outstanding example of the beauty of the animal kingdom. Most of the bushes seem to be bramble and very thorny. Let's walk forward. The dryad woman speaks. I am the dryad, keeper of the woods. Are you one with the woods? Yes. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. Bring me a seed from the spores pitting spear of the north, that I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these very magical plants. Thus you will become a true friend of the forest. That whisper was supposed to be like the sound of the wind blowing. You better alter the strategy. These trees mostly just beach about their more popular neighbors, or pine for the fjords, okay? Okay. That, that, I can't even, that's just too perfect. All right, so the Dryad wants us to get, we were supposed to visit the Dryad for something. I forget what, I'll remember at some point. Um, I think she's supposed to give us something. But she said we're, she wants a seed of the spore-spitting Spira to the north. So we're going to go north. But first, this is a ring of unusual mushrooms. Used to be a member of a famous rock group, but it decided to split the scene. Nice. Let's take some mushrooms, actually. You pick a handful of smaller mushrooms and put them in your backpack. She was asking for mushrooms, the healer. So we're going to take a few mushrooms. Nine mushrooms. That's perfect. Uh, and we're looking for the spore spitting spira of the north. Not sure what's here. Uh, this is north. I'm going northwest. Just because there's stuff over here. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yes. I forgot about this. Mountains are very steep here. It seems to be an abundant supply of blue and purple meeps. It looks just slow for a moment. You could count them. Large, heavy-looking rocks cover the many holes. The meeps must be stronger than they look to lift these rocks so easily. The meeps. Let's talk to the meeps. I love the meeps. Love the meeps. Hear squeaky muttering beneath the ground. It seems the meeps are having quite a discussion about you. Hiya, hiya. Pleased to meet ya. His little feet are hilarious. All right. Ask about meeps. We are happy meeps living in our holes. Don't worry. Be happy. Rocks. We use rocks for doors. They keep us dry and warm in our holes. Ask about holes. We, like, live in tunnels under the ground, you know? This is the gesture for that voice. Fur. Hey, like, fur is good stuff. Keeps us warm. Mine's the best. It's, like, green, you know? Green fur. Oh, you want some green fur? Think I have some somewhere. <laughs> this is great. I just... Thank you. Brigands. Gee, boss, I don't really know much about that at all. Hey, sorry. Magic. I found a scroll lying around in the woods one day. You want it? It's yours. Just randomly. Just gave us a scroll. Uh, that's it. That's all the meeps wanted to talk about. And there he goes. All right. What's in the scroll? Looks like a spell scroll. Pick up the spell scroll. This magical runes fade. You find you now know how to cast the detect magic spell. Useful. And uh, you pick up the green fur. We just found that. Let's open a meep hole, shall we? Nope. No, we can't. I love that. <laughs> just meeps. Just, just meeping. Uh, they're just there. I don't even know if they serve any other purpose other than to give us that green fur. Uh, so what else is here? What else is here? Oh, crap. Hostile intent is evident. Prepare for battle. We gotta fight. All right. This is the combat. You just kind of time this. Right now the goblin's not doing anything but standing there. So I just stabbed him like ten times and he died. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you like the voices. That I'm kinda there's a lot of dialogue in this game, and I'm hoping to like do voices of everybody. They kinda all end up as the same voice. Let me search the corpses. Eight silver coins and playfully place them in your pouch. Excellent. So I at least had a successful bit of combat. That's good. Um Oh, and this is the goblin training grounds. I don't want to be here. Yeah, that's hilarious. This is, um, oh crap. No, 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 let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Whew. That, um, 
all the voices kind of end up the same. They're like a weird high pitched guy with a little, like, a little bit of a, you know. But as long, oh crap, there's another fight. Okay, my stamina is getting low, uh, which is a problem because you start, you like die if you try to fight with your with no stamina. Thank you. I'm glad that you also, yeah, there. <laughs> It was a little too much for you. Collapse from exhaustion and die. All right, let's restore from the meeps. Is this a safe place to take a nap? It's mid-morning, so I have time to take a nap. Can I take a nap here? Hopefully that'll restore my stamina a little bit. Yeah, cool. All right, so now I can fight stuff without dying, but I don't want to go north because I don't want to fight the goblins. That place is a, the goblin training ground is an unlimited supply of goblins. Every time you go in, more and more goblins attack you. Um... And it's great. Here it is. It's great if you're trying to train your fighting skill, but I'm not right now, so no, anything to do with that. Um, but I'm trying to go north still. I'm looking for the spore spitting Spira. So, uh, I don't know. Is it of the north? This is north. I'm just going north. What's this? I think I know what's here. I think this is Baba Yaga. Yeah. Looking around, you get the feeling that this is not a very friendly place to be. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you're so stupid that you want to enter, perhaps we can make a deal. Hello. Large skull in the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. I will tell you why this is my favorite game as soon as I'm done talking to this skull. Ask about. Baba Yaga is the most powerful of us around. If you have any brain to stay away from her. He's some hero if you don't even know what an ogre is. Okay, thanks. Hut. Mama Yaga's hut will squat if you say the rhyme. The hut will squat if you say, Hut of Brown, now sit down. That's very uh, straightforward. And he just told me, thanks. Deal. All the other skulls have glowing eyes, but me? No. I don't need lovely glowing eyes, just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you in the gate. Well, this is it a deal or isn't it? Yeah, sure, why not? All I ask for is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. Okay, I can do that for you, little buddy. Uh, cool. So, this is Baba Yaga's hut. Baba Yaga is the ogress that cast the curse on the Baron and his kids are, are gone. Um, cool. So, the reason this is my favorite game, um, is because it's, well, one, nostalgia, obvious, like, that obviously has something to do with it, um, but it's so, like, it's very simple and straightforward and very, like, lighthearted and silly. Oh, crap. I don't want, oh, crap. All right. Well, I'm fighting a Saurus. Um... It's very, like, lighthearted and silly. Like, there's all kinds of puns describing things. And, oh, no. I was hit. I was hit again. Come on. Come on. It's dead, of course. Is there anything in its body? Nope. Um, it's really, like, lighthearted and silly. Like, there's puns, and the characters are all really goofy with, like, funny... They, they all have, like, funny dialogue quirks and silly portraits, and... These are the spore spitting spear of the north. There's the spore. Um, and just like, I like the the game. It's like, a, there's like puzzles, but not too many puzzles. It's kind of just, I mean, it is like, go do this and then get this for me and then get this for me. But there, there's just something about the simplicity of it that I really like. Um, these cliffs are difficult to climb. How's my stamina? I'm going to want some stamina for this. Oh. Nope. Okay, I can't climb it yet. Um, let me keep trying. I don't know. I, there we go. Okay, so now I want to try to catch that thing. So, perfect. That worked just fine. And they all do that. Um, never seen anything quite like them. They're pretty in a grotesque way. The meadow clearing which you stand is grassy and littered with brown pine needles and small mossy rocks. Um, all right, so let me go give that to the Dryad, or figure out how to get back to the Dryad. Um, so I kind of broke up the answer to that question in more than one, um, 
bunch of sporadic thoughts, but basically it's because it's like, it's fun obviously, but like lighthearted and silly and like, it doesn't take anything too seriously. It has like, there's puns and jokes in the dialogue and like, it's just, it's fun as opposed to like, obviously games are supposed to be fun, but I feel like so many games take themselves so seriously that they don't let themselves be silly and like, oh, I went the wrong direction. The volume just didn't have any, come on. I can't change it. All right. By golly, it's an Antwerp. Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They're rarely seen. Can I talk to it? No. Let me get out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, there's the stag. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Um, I think so many games take themselves so seriously with their, like, serious plots and serious dialogue and serious characters. And this game is just like, you're an adventurer. Go on an adventure. Here's a bunch of goofy people to interact with. Like, that's kind of, that's the thing I like about it. End of lengthy rant. I know, who doesn't love fun, right? Like, it's a fun game. It's supposed to be fun. And it's just fun. And they didn't try too hard to make it, like, to make it mean a lot. And I, it, like, I do think that games can be meaningful. I need to give her the seed. Have you brought the seed I requested? Oh, wait, sorry. Have you brought the seed I requested? Yes. There it is. You drop the seed into the dryad's limbs. Now this will boldly grow, where none has grown before. Heed now my words, friend of the forest, and heed them well. Friend. This is too much to whisper. Friend, you must know that there is an evil in this valley which perverts the ways of nature. The prophecy says that a hero will bring a young human from out of this darkness. If you are the one to accomplish this task, there is a potion to break enchantments which the healer can make for you. You must gather these ingredients. Bye, X. Thanks for coming. I will welcome you back in half an hour, when, whenever you're back. Flowers from Miranda's Peace. I already got those. Green fur. I just got that. Fairy dust. A magic acorn. And flying water. I've got some of those things. Farewell, friend. I must return to my concentration. May the forest forever surround you. You see an acorn fall slowly to the ground. There's an acorn slightly growing glowing. Pick up the dryad's gift of a magic acorn. Was that the th one of the things that she said we needed? I think so. So I should probably go talk to the healer then, 